Welcome to Fabulous Chef. In today's video, let's see how to make a delicious green beans gravy. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So let's get started. Let's see the ingredients for the gravy. I've taken about 250 grams of green beans and about 4 potatoes which is peeled and cut into 2. Let's boil the green beans with some salt till it's well cooked. Now we need about 2 large onions which is finely chopped. We need about 3 tomatoes which is also finely chopped. A few curry leaves. Some coriander powder, some dried red chili powder, now let's switch off the flame, our potatoes are well boiled and our green beans has also been cooked well, you can see that our potatoes are nice and soft, let's switch off the flame and keep it aside, we also need about one lime size of tamarind which I've extracted the pulp we need some mustard seeds and some urad dal now take a pan into the pan let's add about three tablespoon of oil when the oil is nice and hot let's add the mustard seeds about one teaspoon one teaspoon of urad dal and stir fry it Till the urad dal becomes nice and golden brown. Now let's add the chopped onions. And the curry leaves. And stir fry it. Till the onions are nice and translucent. This is a very tasty gravy. It goes very well with white rice or even chapati. Now let's add the tomatoes which is finely chopped over three numbers and stir fry all the ingredients together. To this gravy, let's also add a few brinjols, which I have cut into four. Now, let's add the brinjol into the tomato mixture and stir fry it. Now, let's add about three tablespoons full of coriander powder and about one tablespoon of chili powder. and mix everything together till the tomatoes are nice and mushy now let's add a pinch of turmeric powder about quarter teaspoon this gives a nice color to the gravy at this stage let's add the green beans and the potatoes along with the water Now let's add sufficient water for the gravy. I'm adding about 2 cups of water. Now let this boil till the brinjols are well cooked. Add sufficient salt to the gravy and check the seasoning. Now let's close the pan with the lid and allow it to boil till the brinjols are well cooked. Now let's take about one coconut which is finely grated, add sufficient water and grind it into a fine paste. This coconut paste gives a nice thickness to the gravy. Now our coconut paste is ready, our brinjol has also cooked well, 
At this stage, let's add the coconut mixture into the gravy. And mix everything together. As soon as we add the coconut mixture, you can see that our gravy is becoming nice and thick. At this stage, let's add the tamarind pulp. Today, I've taken about one lime sized tamarind and extracted the pulp. So, mix everything together and check the seasoning. This gravy is a great side dish for rice, idli, or dosa, or even chapati. So, that's it, friends. Our delicious green beans gravy is ready. Do try this delicious recipe. Like, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below.